evening, my people up in the chandeliers. The wine and dining, the menu is blood, sweat, and tears. Everybody ready, raining duck confetti, champions are born right now. All right, we're here the second week of a back-to-back -back weekend. This time we're in Southern Ohio. Looking like a little bit of rain in the forecast. Gonna be a classic Southern Ohio Enduro. We got Grant Baylor who's taking the Pro One lead for the first time ever. KTM boys, brother Stu looking to run him down. Pro Two class is stacked and ready to go. We got 400 other riders here to go for the Little Raccoon National Enduro. Hi, I'm Mark Hyde with KTM Ride Orange, and we're here at the Raccoon National Enduro. If this is the first section of mile in, they start off with a really awesome grass track. We had some rain overnight, so it's a little slippery. But you can see this first turn we have here, everybody's kind of going into the hay bale, and it sets you up really wrong for that next corner. So actually, at six days, a lot of guys have learned a good technique. We want to be out here hugging this pole, and then we round the corner off so we can make this corner much better and it sets us up way better for the next corner because we have a really steep off camber here and it's dragging them down close to the water down there and uh, you can save a lot of time in your grass tracks especially when it's slippery like this getting out wide carrying your momentum because you can see that rider he got down way low and now it really changes his entry speed in that next corner and with that wet bridge at the next corner you really want to be ready and set up correctly for that Ohio's been having great enduros for decades, and part of that is just the unique terrain we have down here in Ohio, a lot of uphills and downhills, but one thing is the soil in Ohio, the clay soil can get really slippery, 
and with the rain that we had overnight in the last couple days by row 40 it's been pretty good but still there's a bunch of slick spots and when you're on your bike you need to make sure you're if you can stay up on the pegs grip the bike good with your legs with your knees and then be able to move your body weight forward and backwards so when you need to put more traction on the front end you can do it quickly and easily same way if you start losing traction with the back end so it's a nice balancing act to try and keep the bike going in the direction you want to go and keep it straight because the conditions will sneak up on you and you got to be ready for it and that's where really good throttle control uh, comes into play so you want to look too like you can see up here you get the shinier spots that's when you want to be a little bit lighter on the throttle and make sure your vision's looking down the trail so you can see those spots coming up and be ready for them. Okay, in this section, our riders have just dropped into a creek bed. And as we're going up the creek bed, we have two lines behind me. We have our main line going this way, but because it's so tight around those big rocks, if it gets plugged up, there's another line off here to my left. It's kind of hidden, but you can use that to your advantage. Also, since we've just dropped into the creek bed, you should kind of pick up on what's going on in your surroundings. You see the moss on the rocks, so you know any rocks going up through this section are probably going to be slippery, plus with the rain we had last night. So you really want to pay attention to that. And also when we're wiggling through a tight section with this, with the big rocks, make sure you get in the center of it so you don't clip a foot peg, a brake pedal, you know, damage your bike because that'll ruin your, ruin your day. So you got to go fast, but also be smart in places like this. Hey, we're in here at the creek and part of the race today. And when you're riding in a section like this, you kind of got to be careful. And remember the old saying, still waters run deep. So always try to look for ripples and maybe work the edges. If you do come up to a, a section that's kind of deep, just kind of ease your way in through it. And then if you ever get to a crossing that's really deep, I recommend getting off your bike, get on the uphill side, up, upstream side of it, and walk next to the air, bike, air box. Because that way your bike is four inches taller because you're not sitting on it. And you kind of create a little dam next to the airbox so the water runs around you so there's less chance of drowning your bike out. Okay, hey, we're here with uh, last year's part of last year's women ISD World Championship team, Becca Sheets. Becca, you don't ride a lot of Enduros, but it's close to home. How's things going today? Yeah, um, they're going pretty good. Something that is challenging for me is racing blind trail you know at max capacity so it's definitely new for me but the trails are really awesome today with the rain that we got and um, I'm riding really well really well and I've won a few tests and um, I just learned the good old enduro lesson that you can't mess up or you you lose the lead so but it's going good good well you, it sounds like the day's been going great you got one more section and I heard it's it's nine and a half miles long yeah. so you got a lot of time so you think you can pull it off in this last section oh I don't know I'm going to try my best just to stay on two wheels and um, hopefully make up a little bit of time. Yep. Yeah. Well, I know six days, this is similar format, only six days we have long transfers and short tests. Yeah. Here you have short transfers and long tests. Are you able to use some of the six day skills to help you out today? Yeah, for sure. It definitely feels like a six day kind of vibe around here mm -hmm. and just going out and racing and um, racing the, the blind trail. Even mm -hmm. though it's six days, normally it's mostly like field stuff. but. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun and a lot of the same same dynamics. Well, was, when you say that, the first mile, then you should have had fast time because it was all open grass tracks in the near wheelhouse. I think I did okay. Good. On it. Yeah. Good. Well, it's cool to see you here. You know, I know you just live up the road, a good Ohio girl, and uh, doing Ohio proud today. So keep up the good work. Have a great last section, and uh, hopefully you'll have a great day, and we'll see you at a few more of these. Yeah, thanks. I, okay. I think you will. Nick, how's things going today? Uh, first test, I pumped up a little bit and yeah. clipped a couple trees, but other than that, I've been going pretty good. <laughs> yeah. How was it starting out on the grass track? Uh, fast. Fast? <laughs> are you from Ohio or where are you from? Uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, okay, so you're not too far away. No. Nah. And everything. A lot of fast guys from over the Pittsburgh way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, great reason. Those guys. <laughs> okay. So you, you got a bunch of your buddies riding on the road with you? Uh, this guy right here, my dad got hurt in one of the ages. So, oh, okay. Yeah. He's usually with us. Yeah. Oh man, well it's a bummer he's missing out because with that rain it's kind of made for a pretty good day today. Yeah, know? it's just a little slick in some spots, but yeah. it is, other than that it's pretty good traction. So. Okay. What's been your favorite section today? 
uh, probably the last one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was that, five? Yes, five. Yeah, five. Okay. So, you know, this section, the last section is nine and a half miles long. You got nine and a half more miles in you? Uh, I could probably do another 14, 15. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, when you come back, you can go ride a second time. All right. Okay. Well, hey, great chatting with you. Right, good luck you. this afternoon. Have a good Have one. a great ride. Thanks for coming out. Yep.